Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to open up, oh, there go my really sweet stickers that I use when I post stuff out. But um, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, we've got mail today, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of letters. I got, um, I believe this is Italy, this is Germany, and this is the Netherlands. I think I'm, I'm just going to start with this big package first because there are two blue cards in here that I really need to finish a playset. And I'm going to give you a little hint about the contents. So these two blue cards are flyers. They're two creatures. And they're pretty good because um, they're not affected by City in a Bottle, which is kind of a big deal. Making them really good for a sideboard. You can also easily splash them in your deck because they only have one blue in their casting cost. And they're from the Legends expansion. So do you already have an idea what I'm talking about? Here we go. Okay, and I think, because I only ordered two cards. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what I wanted to say is I only ordered two cards. So I guess he put a lot of extra stuff in here. Um, maybe I'm just going to reuse this box, by the way, to send something. Anyway, um, let's have a look. Oh, wow. It is raining Timmy's. That is insane. This is sent to me by uh, Power Negen. By Weinand. Thank you, Weinand. Wow, look at this. Man, that's so cool. As you may know, uh, of course, I collect these, but I also send them out. When you become a patron of the channel, um, I always do a little altar, and I send those altars out to patrons. So if you would like to have an altered Timmy, um, yeah, join the Patreon program. Uh, wow. Wow, amazing. I mean... How many are these? Look at that, what a stack. So that's, I mean, that's so cool when people kind of know who you are and what you do. And, and I've known Vainan for a while. Like he's, he's usually at every old school magic tournament. He's a great guy, a great seller of magic cards. Um, very reliable as well. So just check out, check him out on Power Negen on the magic card market. If you're looking for stuff, but wow, man, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for, for sending this. I really, really appreciate it. And now actually the two cards that I ordered from uh, Power Negen from Magnon, because they're actually just these two cards. Uh, of course, this is the Azur Drake and the Azur Drake is just uh, a very useful creature. Oh, look at that. Even more Timmy's like it, Timmy's are everywhere here. This is in a really good condition. Uh, revised one though. That is sweet. Revised, of course, my alpha, the set uh, that started my magic journey. Wow. This, look like, this looks like a pack fresh Timmy. I like it. Wow. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Insane. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Let's just keep it in keep it in the screen, but um, a little bit to the side. And we're going to open this up. So we've got two beautiful Azure Drakes in here. One, let's get this one out of here, and number two, okay, there we go, and um, whoop, whoop, really sweet, just beautiful art, and the fact that this is Legends, the fact that it's one blue and three, for example, uh, Ghost Ship, a card that I really love, has the same um, power and toughness, two, four, and there's also four to cast, but it's two blue and two, and, you know, sometimes in some decks that can be a problem. So if you want to replace your Surrender Befreet, then, you know, Azure Drake is a really good card for on the sideboard. And in some cases, even it's a good card main. If maybe you want to play City in a Baller yourself, or if you know that in your meta, that card is so frequently played, you know, I mean, four mana for two, four flyer, that may sound not great, but actually in old school, it is pretty good. Um, you know, considering the city in a bottles and here we go. We've got the two from my own collection. So now I have a full play set. And I really like um, uh, the flavor text, by the way. The Ezra Drake would be more powerful were it not so easily distracted. 
And I actually think looking at the art, it's also kind of like he gets distracted by his own tail. You know, so I always wonder what if it wouldn't get as easily distracted? Would it then be a 4 4 for 4? That would make it an absolute powerhouse. Actually, just a 3 4 for 4 would already be, you know, fantastic stats. I think that 4 toughness makes so much difference. That's, you know, that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Azure Drake. Is it a card that you would consider playing? Why would you and why would you not? Let, let me know. I'm curious to hear from you. Uh, let's continue to the next one. I believe. This is the one from, I'm just gonna peek because I don't want to show the address. Yeah, this is the one from Italy. Okay, so this has a lot of Italian cards in here probably. You know, I just, I love to collect foreign cards and whenever I I order something something small, I always check like, do they have some some foreign old school cards and I just order some of those as well. Okay, here we see the receipts. You can see what I've ordered. That's actually kind of nice. So 10 euros, people. That's what I spent here. That's really good. Again, by a uh, cart market. And these are also, these are good folk. Let's give them some free advertisement. Why not? You know, if you, if you give the product, you know, and you deliver quality, then I'm also going to give you a shout out. It's, it's as simple as that. I don't have any sponsorships, by the way. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, opening up here. Whoop. That's nice, a little card. Thank you for your purchase. Um, let's see, we would be infinitely grateful if you could share your experience with us on our Facebook page and our Google business profile. Okay, sure, man, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look later. I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, Let's see, what's a good way to go at it? There we go. Unpacking. You know, I mean, this may sound kind of bad, but I actually forgot what cards I ordered. <laughs> Probably just a lot of like cheap, um, you know, Italian old school cards. Cause I really like the coloring of those cards and um, yeah, I've got a pretty big collection. So like I said, whenever I order something, I always check you to have some more small stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love this. Okay, I just get this piece of tape off of my hands. There we go, Toravauki. So we've got a Toravauki Italian style. Evoca Legenda. Then, oh man, black mana battery. This art. I think I've got every single edition available of this card just because I love the art so much. Like I, whenever I see this card and someone selling this card, I just have to buy it. I mean, this is just epic, epic art. Just fantastic, of course, by Anson Maddox. There we see the Vampire Bats, which is not a vampire, it's just their bats. Oh yeah, this is a cool card, Senestian Falconer. I think I now have, cause, um, I got sent two of these as well, Italian. I think now I've got a full place of Italian Senestian Falconers. This is nice, a uh, uh, bronze horse. It's It's got trample, four for trample for seven mana. And I think whenever you deal damage, the damage is reduced to zero. That's it's some, something like that. You know what I'll do? I'll just put the original card here next to it and then you can read it. Um, so bronze horse, Sentinel, uh, yeah, 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 very, very funky card. Uh, of course, um, Frost Giant, and this is Furia, is Rampage, Rampage 2. Again, a card with an insane casting cost. Look at that art, though, beautiful. They're two heads. You gotta look closely, though. Beautiful art. And I mean, again, I mean, this kind of shows how they were thinking about the Rampage ability. They probably thought that this was really, really a powerful ability. Hence, all the creatures with Rampage just have ridiculous casting cost for, for their stats. I mean, this is a 4-4 four, four for 6 mana. I mean, at least make it a 4-5 so you can play a, a Psy Blast on it. You know, that would make it a lot better. And, okay, we get Nuka, we get Nuka. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that stuff, man. That's filler upper. Um, oh, yeah, of course, we've got more. Ooh, this is one This is one in a, in a sleeve. So this, okay, we're going to leave this for the last, the last one. 
Uh, let's just flip it around. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Okay, new, whatever. Oh, Shannon and Dryads. Always like the art. For me, this is like a ballet dancer. You know? Beautiful. Then we've got a... Oh, reconstruction. Now I know why I ordered this. Okay, so I've got an artist-proof reconstruction. I've got a summer... My only summer magic card is a reconstruction because I like artifacts. You know, I'm a big fan of Sage of Latinam as well, of the Argiving Archaeologist. So I just like artifact decks. And um, yeah, I just to I want to have a global set of reconstructions, and therefore I need a few cards that you know I need Italian reconstruction, the German, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's that's why I ordered from from this vendor. Now I remember. So this is going to be part of my global set that I'm going to show you um, here on Timmy Talks when it's finished. So hola ein Artefakt vom Friedhof zurück in den Blatt. Dein Blatt. Tücken dir dein Blatt. So this is Deutsch. Yeah, this is German. Oh, we got another reconstruction. Reginero Artivato. Riprendi in mano un artivato terminato nel tuo cemitero. It's so nice. So much emotion in the language. I think that this is Italian and not Spanish. So I'm. this is Italian. I'm pretty sure. But please don't, you know, don't kill me in the comments if I'm making a mistake here. So we've got two of these. Ah, oh, nice. Brass man. Messing man. I'm the messing man. I love it. I just love it. I'm just a big fan of, of, of looking at these magic cards and what their name is in different languages and how they're printed, right? Like this is German. Um, I would love to, maybe, maybe I'll make that, uh, uh, make altars where I give them the Dutch names. Uh, that would be pretty interesting. And we've got a Bruma. I just, I mean, look at that black border. Look at the printing quality. This is just beautiful. Of course, this is a frozen shade. Absolutely beautiful. I think this is an Italian the Bruma. Beautiful, beautiful to see this black bordered. And we've got a Spirit Shackles. Incatenare lo spirito. Lo spirito. Kind of reminds me of church. The Latin language. Art by Edward Beard Jr., who also made The Elder Dragons. Yeah, I like the art of this. I think it's very cool. It's, um, what does it do again? So it gives, I believe, minus O, minus 2, counter. So not, not just until the turn, but a counter when the creature gets tapped so it, it's quite nice with if you want to stay in, in black i guess with the paralyzed but then you invest two enchant creatures to kill one creature that's pretty bad but it's, it's it's you know it's nice with an icy manipulator of course and that kind of you know synergies and stuff so this is spirit shackles so we've got this we've got this and then and that's kind of nice we have one more envelope let me just fix the camera for you got one more envelope and that's actually that has the most expensive card of this mail day in it. And um, it is blue as well. Uh, it's black bordered. It's part of the core set. And no, it's not a counter spell. I'm still looking for that. It's not a counter spell. Um, but it is a card that I want to play in my blue beta flyers deck. So here it is. Um, let me see, where can I open it safely? I think I'm going to go for this part. There we go. I want to go, go, go. I'm in a really good mood. I think it's because it's 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 such a beautiful day outside. Um, I just came uh, back from the outdoors. Here we go. Okay, nice. Always checking if it's empty. So let me give you some more hints. It's a flyer. It's beta. Uh, it's blue. The casting cost is one blue and three, the same as an Azure Drake. You don't have to pay casting costs for this, so it is not a um, Phantasmal Forces. Ooh, I gotta try to open it. You probably already know what it is, right? It, it The only ability it has is flying and then just a lot of flavor text. And I think the flavor text is um, a quote from Edgar Allan Poe, I think. 
Okay, I'm just gonna use the scissors here, but I wanna be careful. Yeah, this is always a little bit risky. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yep, open it. You want to be careful. You don't want to get your scissors in your beta card. So this monster comes from, okay, first we get this, whatever. This monster comes from Deutschland. Let's turn it around. There we go, the Phantom Monster. Let me take it out of the sleeve. There's just so much glare. What a beauty this is. Phantom Monster. So one blue and three to cast for this beauty. Summon Phantasm. Gotta love it. While like a ghastly rapid river through the pale door, a hideous throng rush out forever and love but smile no more. Edgar Allan Poe, The Haunted Palace. Don't you just, don't you just love it? You know, when you have quotes from Edgar Allan Poe on your cards. That alone is a reason to play the card. The cool thing is I now have two. I got sent one earlier from Australia, which was super, I mean, that's just super cool, right? When somebody sent, just sent you a Phantom Monster, it's fantastic. So here's the other one in really good condition. So I actually have two Phantom Monsters that are in pretty good condition. I'm actually really, really happy, um, yeah, with, with my beta collection so far, I'm almost there. I can almost build a pretty decent uh, mono blue beta flyers deck. The, the problem is that I have right now is I also have four sea serpents, four phantasmal terrains and a flight. And I really want to make that work too. So I'm probably going to make it beta flyers with sea serpents. Why not? Cause it, you know, come on, it, just, it's just cool. That's cool, right? Anyway, um, thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and if you want to support the channel you can do that quite easily you can send me a lot of timmies like power negative did thank you very much uh but what you can also do is um you can also become uh, a patron of the channel it already starts with just one dollar there's probably an info card popping up right now click on that info card and that will take you straight to the timmy talks patreon page and if you join the program, the cool thing is I will be sending you one of these, but then I'm going to, you know, clutter on it a little bit. I don't want to call it an altar because I'm absolutely not an artist. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do some writing on it and I'm going to send it to you. And also I will be sending you a pin. So that's actually kind of nice. Anyway, if that's something that is of interest to you, please check the uh, the Patreon page. And of course, by becoming a patron, you're also helping me continue to make these videos. And there are also other things that you can do, by the way. You can um, uh, leave a comment. You can leave a like. You can also share it on your socials. And of course, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, you can also subscribe and ring that bell. Okay, that's it for today, the Timmy Talks Mail Day video. And that means we're all ready to go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? still here and waited all that time to find out what card is this well <laughs> you're going to be a little bit disappointed while tidying everything up putting all the cards in the binders where they belong i was like oh man i forgot this so i flipped it around guess what it is this dude so nothing nothing valuable but you know it is let me just take it out i'm filming with one hand at the moment it is a cool card, of course. All these legendary cards are cool. But yeah, it's basically a five mana for a four four vanilla. Tobias. Anyway, that's it. See you later. What
Doctor's figure to somber physique. 